Hello guys, welcome back here at Gaming Boulevard. Thank you for tuning in on our YouTube channel today. So we're gonna unbox three upcoming Amiibo that will release tomorrow, but we already got our hands on them today. So it's Simon, Incineroar, and Crom from the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate series. So uh, we already got Crom in the Fire Emblem series, but now he's finally entering the uh, Smash roster as well. So with that being said, we're gonna take a close look at these new Amiibo figurines and take them out of the boxes. So uh, let's jump in the actual unboxing. Alright, time for the actual unboxing. Let's do this chronologically and start with Incineroar, the uh, fighter wrestler Pokemon that joined as a newcomer in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on Switch. So here you see him in his box. Of course the artwork is all here. Incineroar in his box, looking fierce and ready to battle. It's the new Red Nintendo logo, so we've long passed the Wii U era. And then the back of the box, showcasing Incineroar in action and of course explaining you what this amiibo does. You can level it up in the game and how to use it. The Nintendo 3DS is still pictured, but of course this one is only playable in Smash Ultimate. So let's take him out. Another Pokemon joining the amiibo line. Put this aside, there we go. So it really is a big sturdy amiibo, one of the bigger ones. Really nicely created as you can see here. The details on the flame is really nice looking, really shiny flames there. His fur made out of hard plastic. It's a nice expression. There's a Deadly Claw, which is rather sharp actually, so uh, yeah, it's a really nice looking amiibo of the powerful Incineroar. The back of the figurine. There we go. So this is the regular version, not a shiny of course. But all in all, a very impressive amiibo. Using a pillar for support, but it's transparent. And the bottom of the amiibo indicating the serial number and amiibo logo. Alright, that's it for Incineroar. Let's move over to number 78. So this is number 78 in the Smash line. If you have them all, you have to get a bigger place to stock them because these numbers are getting crazy. Number 78 in the Smash line is Simon from Castlevania. In the box, and you can already see his powerful weapon. The back, always the same screenshots of the character in the game, short explanation of what Amiibo does and how to use it on your Nintendo Switch system. So yeah, let's take out Simon. Let's set him free too. There we go. Put this here. All right, Simon, another one of the bigger amiibos. So as you can see in size, it's really similar to what Incineroar is. At the end of the video, we're gonna do some close-up footage of the figurines as well. But here you have a first glimpse at Simon which really is a very dynamic pose. Really like the way the weapon flows, really giving it that dynamic action scene molded into one sturdy figurine. Also look at the details on the armor, the silver, the metallic really pops and shines. A lot of eye for detail here, as you can see, a lot of different textures, a lot of different colors and patterns. Even the shoes. So yeah, if you compare this figurine to one of the first wave, it really is incredible how far Amiibo figurine actually came. Same goes for the expression on the face, which isn't as that as it was in the first line. All right, another really impressive figurine. 
there we go. Simon joining the smash line and then we have a third one and final one being Crom. He's number 80 in the Amiibo line. So this one really resembles the uh, Chrome Amiibo we already got for the Fire Emblem series, but this time you get the same figurine in the Smash version. So he's a little bit different, but he really resembles the other Chrome figurine a lot. Which isn't a big surprise, of course. Alright. There we go, here we have Chrome. So, Chrome is the smallest out of the three, but that doesn't mean he is made with less eye for detail, as you can see at the cape. Really, the battle damage on this thing is, is glorious, so you can really see that Chrome wears his cape into battle. Could have used some extra armor for his arm if he wants to fight, because that's a vulnerable arm. But as you can see, Chrome offers a very nice Amiibo figurine in the Smash version as well. So it's a little more simplistic than the other two, but that's because of the, uh, the actual character model of Chrome isn't as detailed as the other two's. But as you can see, they still put in a lot of effort, so uh, the little bells here on his booth, the sword, flexible sword, and then the details on his vest with all the bells. And the hair is nicely created, so all in all, a great looking amiibo as well. Really liking the natural flow of the cape here. So yeah, that's it for Crumb, the uh, third amiibo that will release tomorrow in the Smash Brothers Ultimate line. To conclude this video, let's take a uh, closer look at all three and zoom in on the uh, glorious details.